Hello chess friends! In this chess lesson we will talk about outside passed pawn. If you didn't see some of my previous pawn endgame lessons, take a look at information about that in the right upper corner. In this position here we see that white has outside passed pawn. That is the pawn on A file. In general, one who has the farthest passed pawn has big advantage. That is, of course, white in this position, and white will win the game. The reason why white wins this game is very simple. White will just advance this passed pawn. Black king will be occupied, stopping that pawn to promote. In the meantime, white will win remaining black pawns and win the game. So here white easily wins the game by playing a5 and after king c6 a6, king b6 a7, now black must capture the pawn and white easily captures f5 pawn and wins this pawn end game. In the previous example we have learned that the side who has an outside passed pawn has big advantage. In this position here black has an outside passed pawn and according to what we have learned in the previous example, this should have been a win for black. But here there is a problem. White has a protected passed pawn. And we are going to see now that protected passed pawn is stronger than outside passed pawn. White on the move will play king e3 and after g4 simply king f2. Now black king is not able to help his own pawn on g file because if he plays king f4, now after b6 nothing can stop white's pawn to promote and white king easily stops black's pawn, so white wins the game. That's why black king must be closer to these white pawns and stop b pawn from promotion. But now he loses his g file pawn. King g3, king c5, king g4. And the only white pawn which black might be able to capture is the pawn on a file. If black goes to capture this pawn, then b pawn will promote and white has easy win now. The winning move here is of course queen to b5, forcing black king to move and then queen wins the a4 pawn and white easily wins the game. So after king g4, Black can do nothing else but waiting around these pawns on A and B file. And white will approach closer and win this game. White just needs to play carefully here in order to be able easily to win A file pawn. So after king B6, king D6 is the winning move. And after king B7, king C5, king C7 and now B6, king B5 winning A file pawn and easy win for white. This is another example in which white has an outside passed pawn and white is going to win this game but in this case thanks to having enough number of pawns on the king side. Of course white will again start this game by pushing his a5 pawn forward and after a4 king c6 a5 king b5 simply king d5. Now while black king is capturing the pawn on a file white will just try to and he will win actually black's king side pawns king e6 and now if immediately f5 then g takes f5 and now if let's say g5 for black in this position then h takes g5 h takes g5 and white's pawn is much faster white will have enough time to promote and to stop black's pawn or to win black's pawn and easy win. And if after g takes f5, g takes f5, then king f5 and again white king is fast enough to win the pawn and to promote his own pawn before black's king approaching closer. If after king e6 instead of f5 black plays h5, then again white wins on the same way, winning both of the pawns and having enough time to provide promotion to his own pawn and white wins the game. This position is the same as the previous with one small difference. 
we have removed one pawn for white and one pawn for black on the king side. White again has an outside passed pawn, but in this game he will not be able to win because he doesn't have enough number of pawns on the queen side, so the game will be drawn. After a5, king c6 and king e5, black king will simply go to win this pawn on a file, and after king f6, the move which draws the game is g5. Of course, after h takes g5, h takes g5, king g5, this endgame is drawn. And if white still thinks that he will be able to win this game, and he does not want to admit that the game will be drawn, he may try to play h5, but that will be very bad because now he will lose the game. The reason is that black pawn is much, much faster and white will have no time to promote his own pawn. After king takes and let's say h6, simply queen g5, wherever king moves, black will win the pawn and the game is over. So the conclusion is in this starting position that white will not be able to win the game will end as a draw. And this is the last position for today's lesson. And in this position we will see how sometimes potential passed pawn is more dangerous from existing passed pawn. White has a potential passed pawn because he has the pawns on A and C file and one of them may become passed pawn, while black already has a passed pawn on the king side, h file is a passed pawn. Here, the only chance for white to try to win is to start pushing one of his pawns, a file pawn or c file pawn forward, in order to make another pawn as a passed pawn. But it is not the same. If white starts with c5, then after king e5, if white plays c6 immediately to create a5 as a passed pawn, it will not be good enough because simply now black king will be able to stop white's pawn on a file and white has no chances to win this game, of course. So that's why after king e5, maybe he will play first king g3. And after king d5, king h4. King c5, king h5, king b4, king g4. Now white created a passed pawn on f file. But this game will now be drawn because both sides promote at the same time. And when white makes this check, queen a8, black has queen king b3 move. King is now close enough to the queen and white cannot win. The game will end as a draw. But the question is, what if white plays a5 move instead of c5? The idea is the same, but the point is that now black king will end up by winning white's pawn on a5 square, not a4 like earlier. And at the end of the board, at the end of the game, actually, white will be able to win black's queen. Let's see how. So now after a5, the idea is of course c5, c6 and to promote a pawn, but black will stop that easily by playing king e5. Now we play all the same moves and this is what we are talking about. If you remember in the previous case when white started this game with c5, black ended up on a4 square. In this line, black ends up on a5 square and that will be too far away from the queen on b1 and when both sides promote, now simply queen a5, queen a8 check, and after king b4, queen b8 wins the queen, and white wins the game. That would be all about this lesson. If you want to see some specific content in my video chess lessons, please place the comment below my video on YouTube. Take a look at these suggested videos, and also like, share, and subscribe to my channel.